the nation brand forum, I suppose it's always great to contextualize things with the vision. Um, our vision as Brand South Africa is to create a nation brand that inspires its people and is admired globally. So the inspirational aspect will come from our own people and the take out of the admiration will come from the global world that sees us. And we are hoping that the Nation Brand Forum will, um, because it's a platform that we have positioned um, to enable conversations around South Africa's nation brand image, reputation, and competitiveness. So we are all role players. There are critical stakeholders that are instrumental in the promotion of South Africa and how South Africa is viewed by the global community. So the forum will bring those pieces together whilst tackling our challenges that are facing us. So what we hope to achieve, number one, is that we've um, looked at our reputation study, the Bloom reputation study, which looks at the performance of country brands, you know, in terms of reputation. And our reputation profile um, is driven largely um, also by the products and services. So so by default, we want the custodians of those products, of those services, of those brands to be instrumental um, and be part of the journey that we are embarking on as Brand South Africa. So our vision is to win with what um, we often call a Bronwyn, a country of origin, COO. So to say, actually, do you are you aware that when you are branching outside of South Africa, you are not only taking your brand, but you are taking the culture, the ethos, the actual country brand on its own. It's not all a bed of roses right now in South Africa. How are you responding to those who allude to the tough environment that we're facing from an economic perspective, from a jobs perspective, and of course, mm -hmm. all this being exacerbated by load shedding, which is really wreaking havoc with so many industries and so many people's lives? Absolutely. I mean, we are not ignorant to, to the challenges that are facing us. I mean, right now, energy crisis is one of the most, I would say, the most um, um, sector that is denting progress towards, you know, economic, you know, growth. And what we are, uh, we are, we basically advocate for as Brand South Africa, um, as you know, they are custodians of policies, they are custodians of those sectors, is speed to execution. Look, if we are serious about the ERNR and plan, we must also acknowledge that energy is an enabler. So how fast can we take those reforms that have been put in place to diversify the supply of energy? How fast can we implement? So currently we are saying it's the speed that we are looking for. And as Brand South Africa, we are saying powers that be, speed, 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 nothing else but speed to implement. Because then it's easy to get buy-in from the rest of the world because they would see that we are doing something about it. Unemployment, the forum will also um, seek to come up with tangible and practical example of how to deal with the unemployment, particularly amongst youth and women. And that's what we want. We want to inform policy, but, but from the people's mouth. So people must tell us, the youth um, itself will tell us, look, if you fix X, Y, and Z, if these are the stumbling blocks, how do you actually make sure that you cut out the rate tabs? Those are the things that we're seeking to achieve through this forum, Bronwyn, because we are also not um, what do you call forgetful? We don't want to, to be totally um, too far away from the issues that are facing the nation brand because those are disablers. You know, the same is true with all the crime, etc. Tell me what we can expect over the, the 4th, the 5th and the 6th of October and who is expected to be in the room to help solve for South Africa? So on the 4th, um, it's, going to, it's going to be the Youth Focus Day, right? We are looking at um, opportunities, identifying the gaps, and really to identify ways of unlocking employment opportunities. So youth is going to be on the ground. Upcoming um, entrepreneurs, I alluded to Tepo Jeans, your likes of Batu, essentially all those role players in our creative art space, in an innovation space that are instrumental currently in shaping the entrepreneurship in South Africa. And if you really think about it, the World Bank um, report actually said, if South Africa were to fix entrepreneurship, that would be the first attempt actually to address half of our you know, employment figures. So that tells us that currently Cape Town is known for those entrepreneurs, but we know there's so many of them in other provinces and our job is to put them in that one room so that they can share experiences with the youth. For instance, that is still in school, that is still aspiring to becoming you know, like business people. We'll also have franchise owners um, so that they can also you know, 
impart wisdom and contribute towards you know shaping the strategy of the youth and um, um, employment opportunities and we've invited minister stella Ndabeni, um to come and give us a keynote address they'll also be the ceo of proudly sa because wow. these are the people that will ultimately drive the aspiration Day two actually takes a different form in that the FIT will focus on two roundtables. Um, the first one targets the nation brands in other continent countries. Why are we doing that? We are trying to find ways of learning. You know, when you learn and share collaborative um, efforts around issues that are facing our countries, for instance, the energy crisis and how Rwanda is, is able to deal with that. So it really is to get those insights and, and, and unpack the opportunities around the AFSIF term. So when we speak of this Afri African continental, you know, free trade area, what, what do we mean with each other? What does it mean trading with South Africa? You know, we, which um, we look at our own competitive advantage areas of strength and then try to find a collaborative strategy that we can then implement as country brands. Then the main forum, um, which is going to be the last day of the forum, that's where we will have guest speakers, for instance, from, um, from Spain, um, the gurus in the nation brand space, because we have to understand the dynamics around building nation brands, because they are different to commercial brands, but the technicality is similar. So we are now imparting how the foreign, so we're looking at multinationals. So we're looking for those global companies that have decided to believe in South Africa and invest in South Africa over the years to tell us why do they do that? And how can we do more of that? And then we are getting those South African brands that are now branching outside as well to say, what are the enablers and disablers? Because if we really are to shape and be competent with this country of origin, which we know has worked very well for your brand Sweden, for brand Chile's of this world, we too can be that country. And that's what day three will focus on. So we have quite a range of you know chambers, um, American chamber, I'm chairman going to be part of the discussion, different sort of export agencies as well, because we are really serious about advancing South Africa's image and competitiveness. And from there we'll get nice nuggets that we will use in promoting the brand.